It's rare to see a landing gear set up on a bumper pull trailer. That's what I'm doing today in part two of the Timberland trailer series. I'm going to be doing the front jacks and the rear jacks. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when the other videos of the this series come out. Thanks for watching. So I got the trailer backed into the garage. I'm going to start by doing the front and the rear jacks. That'll help me get it into the air a little bit so I can clean up the underside and weld in the supports underneath. So I'm going to start by doing that on the front. I got to remove that guardrail first and then I will be welding in the jacks and the 4x4 support for the jacks and for the winch and then I'll move to the back get the back jacks welded on. Now that I got that off, I'm just going to use the grinder and clean up the areas a bit. Okay, so I got all my welds cleaned up. I got my jack set in place. There's an angle iron that goes over the edge here. I'm just going to notch that out so I can fill that gap so I can weld there. And then I will cut my 4x4, take a measurement, and get my 4x4 cut to go across the bottom. Okay, I got that 4x4 put in. I need to measure one more to go from here across there on the back side of that. That'll be the back side of where I mount my winch. And it'll add a little bit of extra support under the tongue uh, when the jacks lift up okay I got the back piece cut out to do these angles I just use this tool to help transfer the angle and then I also took a measurement on that point to this point just to double check that angle and that'll be where the back side of the winch mounts up so before I weld this all together, I want to dry fit my winch and uh, mark out my holes and get my holes cut. And then underneath, I will need to cut a bigger hole so I could get a socket in there to tighten up the winch to the top. And once I get those holes cut out, I will get those two pieces welded together and then weld to the jacks and to the trailer along that edge there. I got my connecting rod cut and drilled and put on. I got the jacks cleaned up wherever I'm going to weld. So now I'm just going to get the jacks welded to the deck after I get them leveled up.
Okay, I got both jacks welded on. I probably better mention that these jacks are not reversible, so I had to put the pin facing the same way, even though it hits on the frame right there a little bit. But there's no way to spin that tube, and there's no way to reverse that, so if you're gonna do this, you need to make sure it's facing the same way, otherwise one will raise as it lowers the other. Uh, I got these jacks from E-Trailer. This one was around 109 without the handle. The one with the handle was around 118. And that was the best deal I found on these. And then the tube is just a piece of pipe I got from the welding shop. Now that these are done, I'm going to go on and move to the back jacks and get those welded on. For the back jacks, it came with this round tube to lock them in. I just welded this half inch plate just to help spread some of the weight out. So what I'm going to do, just get them locked up. Where they don't affect the ramp. And then I made a mark over here. Now I'm just going to get these turned. Raise the level of the jack. And get them welded on. Once I get them lined up. Okay, I got my line lined up. Now I'll just tack this in place and then remove the jack and finish welding on the mount. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I got this tacked in place. I'm just going to test it real quick. Okay, I got both jacks installed on the rear, and I got them welded to the deck on the front. And this can be handy for changing tires, and it'll support the weight of logs on the back. And it'll be sturdy up front if I need to get it off the truck with a lot of tongue weight. So 
So that completes the jack install. I will probably do the other riser and cross beam across the top of the jack when I install the winch. So come back for that video. And thanks for watching.